Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and today we're going to go over the weight action in the time subsection of the unity action list. Now, I've already got the object set up with uh, weight on here, and what you're going to see are the first these three of uh, these three fields. First is going to be the time. This is where you end put any amount of time that you wish. Finish event is going to be what's going to fire, if anything, when it is finished waiting. And real time is a checkbox that you can use that will make it either in real time or based on the uh, computer time. Now, the real time versus not real time, it can be a little confusing because you might think that it's computer cycles. However, the real time basically means that it's going to ignore the time scale. So, for example, say you have an effect like bullet time, like you'd see in the matrix. If you use the real time, it will still count in real time. It won't base the time based off of how slow you've slowed it down. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright, so let's get this started and get it going. So I'm going to add a state to transition to, and I'm going to create a new event. Wait, is over. Okay, let's add that in here. Wait, is over. Okay, so as you can expect, I'm going to add in three seconds. So as you can expect, once the three seconds are up, it should go to wait is over. Now, I'm going to leave it without the finish event so that we can see what happens. Two, three. And as you can expect, since this is not the finished event, it's not actually clicking over. But let's change that. And as you can see, it's just clicked over. Now let's try one more different permutation. So let's create one more transition, finished, one more state. And this will show you what we can do with the various actions. So leaving the event empty. It's clicked over to state three, which is hooked up to finished. Now, a few things that you can use this for is, say for example, you have your character and they are diffusing a bomb. Now, if you want the time of the bomb, time before the bomb explodes to be, say, 25 seconds, and I'm not going to run this in the computer, but this is just for an example, and if they fail to act, fail to diffuse the bomb, you can say, okay, let's make an event so bomb has just gone off. Let's change this here. And what this will do is basically, it will give the player 25 seconds to defuse the bomb. Now, if they are able to, for example, you can put in more conditions, like say, have they checked, have they cut the red wire? And that could be a simple Boolean value, and if it has, you can either tell it to go finished, or another custom event that you can pop in, and the bomb has just gone off will basically mean if they fail to cut the red wire in the allotted time, it'll go into this action, which then you can define as to say allocating damage or basically making the player lose a life. So I hope this has answered a few questions you may have had about the wait action, and if you like this video, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good one.